A very close call for a woman and her dog as a driver comes crashing right into her living room, then ran away from the scene. Tonight, police are trying to track that person down. And as WBZ's David Robichaud explains, the homeowners left with a massive mess. Just after midnight, a pickup truck crashed through the side of Irene Turner's house. The worst kaboom thought, I thought I got hit by a missile or something. It was boom. It, it was more than thunder. The truck came barreling down Lowell Road and drove right across Irene's yard. You can see the tire tracks on the lawn. The vehicle demolished the room where Irene would normally be watching TV and one of her dogs, Abby, sleeps. Listen to the weatherman. And he says it's going to thunder. Uh, they're afraid of thunder, so I took her in bed with me. With Where's the driver? He took off. From the outside, you can't really get an idea of the damage. It's all boarded up now. But when you step in, this used to be Irene's front porch. Look at all the debris in here now. I couldn't believe it. Like, just seeing a truck inside of the house, it's just like... It's just insane. Hannah is Irene's granddaughter. She and her siblings grew up playing in that room. Two chairs, a couch, the TV. You can still see the TV. Isn't that something? The wall to their only bathroom now caved in. They had to disconnect the plumbing. Look at, look at up here. Irene is pointing to where the there. floor is pushed right off the foundation. As for the truck driver who took off? He turned himself in and said that he, the truck got stolen. Rochester police told me they have spoken to the truck's owner, but would not say any more. That really tick you off that he ran away? Oh, yeah. To run like that, he's guilty for something. The insurance adjuster and home repair people already busy here. They wanted us to uh, leave the house last night. As I ain't leaving my house for nothing, I'm staying here. In Rochester, New Hampshire, David Robichaud, WBZ News.